Welcome back, everybody. Well, there are certain traditions we associate with this time of year, and for many, the Royal Agricultural Winter Fair is one of them. Yeah, it's the largest indoor agricultural and equestrian event in the world. And here to tell us more about this year's event is the Royal's Marketing and Communications Director, Katie Brown. <laughs> Welcome to the show, Katie. Good to have you here. So Thank excited you. to have you here, Katie. Um, you know, I'm so excited that we're doing this with you because the Royal has a very special place in my heart. I grew up riding there for 15 years, wow. every single year in the horse show. Uh, it's uh, it's the best place on earth, as far as I'm concerned, at least for the equestrian arts as well. So this year, it's the 101st edition, which is unbelievable. So tell us what we can look forward to this year. Well, I mean, it's a million square feet, but let's talk horse show. We've got Guy McLean. He is an Australian horseman who is incredible at working with horses at Liberty. So you may know what that is with, with no lead, nothing. And he just talks about the important bonds between humans and horses, which bring a clean exit so emotional. Oh. And then we also have nine nations represented in the Longines FEI World Cup of show jumping, which is like the Creme de la creme of creme show jumping. And then we also have the Canine Equine Challenge, which features everybody's favorite super dogs. This is where they pair super dogs with horses in the ring, and it is a wild time. Amazing. And Katie, I understand that every year there is a royal ambassador that is crowned. So who took the honor this year? There was tons of speculation because we've had a goat before. We've had a <laughs> very big horse, which you met last year, Winston. Yes, yes. Well, this year we have a very fashionable sheep. Her name is Kay, and she took the goat train here, and she's here. <laughs> what? Come on out, Kay. She took the goat train. Very oh, high fashion. She's lovely. Beautiful. Okay, so tell us a little bit about Kay as we pet her. Oh my god. So gosh. Kay is a full Dorset. That's her breed. She is a little bit older than a year and a half old. Wow. Um, and she actually is a royal veteran. She was here last year. She did a CBC interview. Uh, and she competed. She's a reserve champion, actually. Is she? Mm -hmm. Yes. Wow. She competed last year and she'll be uh, competing this year again at the Royal. Okay, so Sarah, I mean, for people who don't know and they're looking, you're going, wow, she's beautiful. What actually makes her like an award-winning sheep, though? Right, mm -hmm. totally fair question. Um, oh. Oh. oh, she's oh. going pee! Oh. <laughs> she's like, I'll show you. She thought she was on grass. She thought she was oh, safe. Oh, oh, okay. So okay. people at home, she just took a little wee wee, yeah, but that's okay. It's okay. Oh my god. Um, she, what makes her champion is that she can pee so, on command, yes, obviously. Yes. She knows when she has an audience. Um it just kind of very similar to what maybe a dog show would be like, okay. where every breed has certain characteristics that you're kind of looking for. Uh, and those characteristics can differ across the breeds. So, oh, oh, oh yes, okay, um, gorgeous. So, yes, yeah, so she she was in the class yes uh, last year and was reserved. Oh, beautiful. And then, Katie, can I ask, what are her duties then as a royal ambassador? So she does the official ribbon cutting and she announces the start of the fair tomorrow and then she greets guests as they come. And you can visit Kay in the small animal pavilion where you can go and take your picture with her and pet her and learn all about sheep. Mm -hmm. And then she also does special guest duties if anyone comes, she likes to welcome everybody to the fair. <laughs> Okay. okay. And Sarah, what does it feel like to be the owner of... Oh, don't aim it at me. Don't worry, the tank is empty now. Oh, the tank is empty? She's all good. <laughs> okay. What does it feel like to be the owner of such a special sheep? I want to see... You know what? I think... Oh, uh, oh it's Sorry, okay. Andrea. <laughs> sorry, Andrea. We just want to see her pretty face. <laughs> She's so beautiful. We are very fortunate. I think uh, all of our sheep are, are wonderful, but Kay, with her experience at the Royal and all the different activities that we've been able to do uh, this year and last year with her. She's she's pretty special and I think she definitely holds a, a place in our heart. So Oh my gosh. Well, she's I'm gorgeous. going tomorrow with my family. I can't wait to see come Kay there. Yeah, come and visit. everybody, it's just a special time of year. Um, to Katie and to Sarah, thank you both for being here. And also to Kay. 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 Thank you.
Thank you for watering our grass. <laughs> Thank you so much for that. The Royal Agricultural Winter Fair, it returns to Toronto's exhibition place beginning tomorrow. That is Friday, November the 3rd, and it runs straight through until the 12th. I'm just going to tell you, there's something amazing happening every single day for the entire family. So Ye please, please come. Hey there, what did you think? Drop your comments below and join the conversation. And don't forget to like and subscribe so you can find more on everything from food and fashion to pop culture and current events. See you soon.